Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Jersey Raven of the Jersey Raven Experience, coming at y'all early this morning because I got a little advice I want to give you guys on uh, online dating. I'm going to give you the top 10 do's and don'ts of online dating. Now, I got this courtesy of my people at about.com. That's A B O U T dot com. So if you want to know more about this survey, check out about.com. That's A B O U T dot com. Get it together. I'm going to read you some of the 10 things that they say are do's and don'ts for online dating. And I'm going to give you my take of what they are. Do. Post a recent photo of yourself and write an honest description of yourself. One of our guy friends salivated over a picture of a gorgeous blonde bikini clad model expecting a Cameron Diaz lookalike. He was shocked to meet a morbidly obese woman in a mumu. Get it together. He downed three shots of tequila and fled. On the other hand, we dated men who were relieved and delighted that we simply looked like our pictures. And believe us, we're not Cameron. They were grateful enough to stay through the creme brulee. Now don't naively assume that his photo is an up-to-date is as up to date and accurate as yours. We accepted a date with a guy whose headshot looked perfectly human, even normal. In the flesh, he could have passed for Dracula with a mouthful of rotted brown pointy fangs. Never underestimate the power of Photoshop. See, that's why I tell y'all people false advertising is a mother sucker. If you're going to date somebody online, put a fucking recent picture of yourself online. Don't put a picture of yourself you took last year, is it last year at Joe Walker team was cookout. Get it together. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to stop putting them old ass pictures of yourself online. Now, do learn the lingo of dating profiles. For instance, he describes himself as cuddly, translation, he chubby as hell. He writes, I've been told I'm very handsome. Translation, by his damn mama. He's executive vice president of a strategic planning for a major corporation. Translation, he is self-employed in some cockamamie business headquarters in his damn basement. Get it together. Now, I know a lot of y'all can relate to that because <laughs> you know. Now, don't get taken in by corny, overused come on lines. For example, looking to spoil the lady of my dream with flowers and candlelit dinners. Now, how many profiles have you come across where you've seen that written down word for word just like that in their profile? Now, automatically you should know that is some bull to the shit. Okay? Get it together. And be aware of perfect strangers who promise to snuggle with you in front of the fireplace and enjoy sunset strolls on the beach. These guys only have one thing on their minds. That's why they took a course on what women want to hear. Okay? Get it together. Now this is all for all my straight women out there. My women out there. These are some of the things that guys are saying because they know that that's what you want to hear. They know that that's what you want to hear and they'll think that you'll let your guard down to eventually let them into your pants. Get it together. Now, do brush up on your math if he sounds too good to be true. Subtract three. Okay, this is how we're going to do this. Listen very carefully, ladies. Listen very carefully. Subtract three three inches from his height, double his weight, half his income, add a decade to his age. Check that out and see what you get. Let your boy Jersey Raven know what you get. Get it together. Don't choose your dates based on photos. Now I tell y'all, y'all know how Jersey Raven feels about this. Don't choose somebody because they got nice teeth. Don't choose somebody because they look good in a photo because you know photos can be fixed. Get it together. I'm telling you. 
It is all too easy to scroll through the internet profile selecting a Brad Pitt lookalike and bypassing the rest. Remember, real men lo lose their hair and grow love handles. Now, this is according to them. Yet, if you meet them in person, you just might find them charming. Besides, if they're anything like us, you probably don't look that much like Angelina anyway. Shit. Get it together. Got this shit popping on my computer. Do. Move the conversation along from email to cell phone. Some people are great writers or even have a friend ghostwriting for them. In a phone chat, you'll get a better sense of whether, you know, your personalities click and because you know words can look like they sound good, but if you're on the phone with somebody and the conversation goes like this, um, how you doing? And then you'd be like, I'm okay. Um, you sure? You know what I'm saying? If you gotta fish a conversation out of somebody, then obviously they don't want to be on the phone with you. Keep it moving, get it together. While most men on the internet are just as normal as you are, you don't have you don't want Hannibal Lecter ringing your doorbell, even if he's carrying a box of Godiva chocolates, and even if they're truffles. Oh, get it together. Do take things slowly through the chemistry. Though the chemistry may be magnetic, arrange to meet him in a public place at the first couple of dates. When you know more about him, he can pick you up and drop you off at home. Now, I say get to know him more than a couple of dates before the nigga starts to come to your house, okay? Because once he knows that address, it's a whole nother ball game. Even if he pleads that um, he urgently has to use your bathroom, our friend fell for that ploy on the first date, and when she offered her hand as well as leaving, he suddenly French kissed her slobbing all over her face nasty ass don't don't behave like a kid in a candy store full of online temptations if you've met a nice sincere guy and you're having a good time dating him don't fly to your computer the second you get home to flirt with the dozen new seductive suitors now niggas now I can't speak for the straight women but in the gay community I can speak for myself now, I know you could go out with what you think is the coolest, charmingest, most, and you met him, let's say, on BGC, Black Gay Chat. And, you know, y'all dating, y'all went out on the first couple of dates, y'all really cool and y'all getting to know each other. And you come home and your fingers just so happen to go to BGC.com and you log in and you see him on there. Now, you think y'all had a good time. Why would he be on BGC? Now, why are you on it also? So it's, it's, it goes both ways. Get it together. Both of y'all cannot instantly run from your date and run back online thinking there's something else out there. Grass is not always greener on the other side, people. Remember that. If you meet something good, stick with it because that might be the one for you. On the internet, it's easy to get distracted by the smorgasbord of smooth-talking nucleus. Only to lose sight of the one you, that just might be Mr. Right. Now, let me repeat that for everybody. Let's go for gate, straight, by, whatever. On the internet, it's easy to get distracted by the smorgasbord of smooth talking guys. Only to lose sight of the one that just might be Mr. Right for you. Don't overlook him just because you attempted to jump back on that internet and think that there's something else out there. Go on several dates, get to know them, conversate, coffee talk. That's what it's all about. Now I personally am going to try these do's and don'ts for myself. And maybe I can land Mr. Right. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I can go over this for myself and actually see what Jersey Raven needs to do to try to find his Mr. Right. You feel me? Get it together. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you guys got something from it. I hope you'll take that and maybe, you know, find Mr. Right. But be careful on that internet. Okay? Because you can be anything on the internet that you want to be. Anything other than what you truly are. Remember that. 
This has been your boy, Jersey Raven, of the Jersey Raven Experience. Get it together. Follow me at Twitter.com slash Jersey Raven. Um, MySpace.com slash Jeff Jersey. And, of course, here on the legendary YouTube. YouTube.com slash Jersey Raven. Ahala. Get it together. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Get it together. I'm noticing... On a quick sidebar, I'm noticing a couple people saying get it together a lot more. Um, you know, I don't mind people saying it, but as long as you know where it started, it started in this box, get it together. So I just want you to know that that's mine.